What's with all the blinking? <laughs> My contact lenses are dry. <laughs> if you really need to know. We are making Caesar salad from scratch today. Well, mostly just the dressing is from scratch. Everything else is. Well, whatever. let's just clarify that you didn't grow your own romaine lettuce. <laughs> No, but you know what? I'm going to tell you how you can grow your own romaine. So Caesar salad dressing is actually fairly easy to make. And again, if you have the right ingredients at home, you can just do it yourself. You don't have to buy the whole bottle of Caesar salad dressing. Um, as you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of salad dressing in a bottle, mainly because it goes to waste when it's in my fridge because we don't eat a whole lot of salad. And that includes um, Caesar salad, even though it's one of our favorite salads to make. So we're going to start with um, a quarter cup of mayo. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. That's about a quarter cup. About a quarter teaspoon of mustard. Quarter teaspoon of Worcester. I'm using anchovy paste. You can use two anchovies chopped up, but I'm just going to estimate. About a clove of garlic. I'm just actually gonna use half a clove because it's already minced. And you can add more if you like it really garlicky. You only need about a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off here. About a tablespoon of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And that's it. That's all that goes into your dressing. Just stir it up. And you can double the recipe, you can triple the recipe to um, keep some in the fridge if you like so you don't have to make it every single time if you're having Caesar salad more often. Or you can even use it as a dip for vegetables, carrot sticks, um, cucumber, tomato, or you can use it as a spread for sandwiches. And that's it. So that was pretty easy, right? Yeah. Now I'm just gonna add my romaine on top. And you have to make sure that your romaine is really dry, otherwise the sauce gets wet and then it doesn't stick as well on your lettuce. So that's one head of romaine. And the cool thing about romaine is that if you chop it off about an inch or two, or maybe about an inch, inch and a half from the bottom and give it an, a clean slice and stick it into a pan of water that will cover maybe just up to that point, it will grow. Once it starts to sprout leaves from the middle, you can plant it in a pot of soil and then you can regrow your romaine from the one that you bought. Pretty cool, right? Yep. Salt and pepper. So salt and pepper your lettuce. I'm gonna add some more Parmesan. About another tablespoon or two, depending on how much you like. And croutons. You can make your own croutons if you don't have croutons at home. What I do is take the butts from um, my bread and I'll cut them up into little pieces. Toss it in some salt, olive oil, salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of garlic, and just toss them in the oven until they toast up. And then that's how you make croutons. But I've gotten lazy over the years. Lazy. <laughs> Shame. Shame. So at this point you can toss. Other things that you can add to your Caesar salad are mushrooms, bacon, um, baby shrimp. Oh my goodness, baby shrimp on Caesar salad is amazing. And I would just top it, not mix it all together. But don't forget the bacon. Bacon. I love bacon in my Caesar bacon, salad. Bacon, baby shrimp. You know what? We have some bacon. Shall I go get some? 
I just so happen to have bacon bits. What? This is for our baked potato later. All right, that's enough bacon. Then we'll just give it a toss and dude will do a tasting. Happy to. Are you recording? Yeah. I forgot to give you a fork. I was just going to say that I was just going to eat with my hands. Okay. Great job with tossing the salad. It's evenly covered and just the right amount of uh, dressing so it's not drowning in it, but it's not needing more dressing. You know, the worst thing, people, you have salad and it's like devoid of of dressing and it's just it's just pieces of raw vegetable. And then sometimes you get like too much dressing and then all you're eating is dressing and it's That's pretty not gross good too. either. So happy medium. Ah, perfect bite. Bacon. It's so crispy that I can't even jab into it. I just have to scoop it up. Get in there. Good flavor. You know the difference between your homemade uh, Caesar dressing compared to the bottle stuff is that the bottle stuff is just kind of just like saucy, like it just oozes over everything, but it doesn't have the same depth of flavor as when you make your own. And especially when you add the accoutrement of bacon and sometimes baby shrimp, but <laughs> one of my favorite salads, of course. Good job. And next time make your own croutons. Yay. No. So if you haven't already heard, we'll be hitting the road in a couple of weeks. You can check out the video here. And as always, thanks for watching. Disposing of them. Can I just enjoy my salad? Sorry.